Yep. Hello, guys. So this is our meeting. I'm going to record and we will discuss about uh, AI research and uh, we will answer questions and just discuss the path. So the what I was talking about is how I ended up here. And if you can, if you check my channel, you can see where when exactly I started making YouTube, uh, YouTube videos about learning AI. I started first uh, reading the papers. Madela, you can uh, turn on your mic and uh, engage <laughs> in the conversation. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, okay. So you were asking me like how I started. So right, uh, right, yeah. I was just, yeah, I was just like uh, trying to read papers. I find this interesting. And then it was difficult at first to understand it. I was trying all of the different things like uh, trying to code neural networks, back propagation, as you said, you do and all of this stuff. So it took me like a year, year and a half, or maybe mm -hmm. two years, year and a half. And then I got to this point and now I'm writing. I wrote like my thesis, bachelor's degree thesis on optimizers. And uh, with the help of my professor, I asked him to mentor me. And nice. then, yeah, I wrote one paper besides that. And now I'm writing like the third paper. I think it, this one is gonna be good. It's also on optimizers. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have anything to add? Yeah, I from what I know, like optimizers is like the most fundamental part and like it, like it will have a very huge impact and not many people like think, venture into that area. So it's cool that you are like exploring yeah. that part and coming up with new ideas. Yeah, my thinking was actually I, I was trying for a long time to figure out what I want to do. Uh, should it mm -hmm. be like LLMs, uh, JEPA, reinforcement learning, robotics video. And I think mm -hmm. there is potential in all of those. The problem is um, you still need like a couple of years to be able to like judge, um, to have this feeling of like what's going to work. You have like, mm -hmm. you need to have a lot of experience. So given my one and a half years of doing this, I'm like, Okay, optimizers are more most guaranteed way. It's like most fundamental mm -hmm. way. It influences everything. But right, right, right. Yeah. And as I as I um, do optimizers, I'm gonna expand into other stuff as well. Maybe LLMs, video, this, that. But um, mm -hmm. for now, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm like optimizers are so fundamental in maths and everything. So that that's how I chose it. Nice, nice. Yeah. Like right now, I. I want to like go towards robotics, but I'll, I'll see <laughs> like, yeah, like okay. out of the four you listed. Yeah. I'm like more interested in the robotics part. Yeah. Actually I have some friends also. Um, they are also doing robotics. I talked to them. It's interesting. So what do you find interesting about yes. robotics? Um, the, like it can automate the grunt work, right? The physical labor and all like, it will free yeah. up a lot of people's time and to do something more meaningful. So I find it that more like valuable uh -huh. to contribute to. So you say you do back propag you're learning kind of back propagation, this yeah. beginner stuff, but it's actually I think it's not actually beginner because uh like to this to this day I'm also understanding back propagation and everything. It's it's uh, it's like the most mm -hmm. fundamental. You'll always be returning to that. So right, right. Yeah, yeah, I was going through Andre Karpati's like auto grad video. Yeah, that's it's good. That's good. Like, yeah. yeah, relatively better out of like, available ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's actually good. And uh, I also uh, like went through your classroom lectures. What I, did you check? Uh, what did you check? I just checked the math, math not scary module, and then the PyTorch <laughs> fundamentals. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, did you learn anything? Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I, I mean, a math part, I have already, like, I know most of it. Huh. Yeah, PyTorch, like, I'm not familiar, so I just went through that, like, yeah, but I need to be hands-on to, like, appreciate it more. But I love it, like, it's, uh, it's, like, very beginner-friendly and all. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, you can always, like, make a post. You can even say, like, what I can improve, what I can add. 
I'm trying to mm-hmm, ask mm-hmm. ask people like, what do you like? What do you not like? What can I change? And all this stuff, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Right, right, right. In yeah, I think in the math part, like you have not highlighted the quotient rule, but like you jumped directly into one example. So I'll, I'll add, like yeah, I'll add, share this as a feedback. The derivatives, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I think you have talk. You were talking about multiplication, addition, but not about the quotient one. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, derivatives, derivatives. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's too yeah. okay. <laughs> basic, but yeah. 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 That. That's uh, it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Right. I think this will evolve like to a bigger thing. Uh, what what do you mean? It's... Uh, yeah. I mean, like right now the content is like pretty minimal, so I think we can add like, more stuff into it. But, okay, uh, but tell uh, me, that... yeah, the problem is um, this is like fundamentals. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Like oh. what else? Uh, yeah, tell me, tell me. Like you, if you have like ideas in the, you can make a post. And mm-hmm. anybody sure, sure, watching sure. this, anybody watching this, you can make a post. On right. because I don't want to spam too much content, just making too many <laughs> videos. Nobody will watch them. Everybody will get like people will say like, right, right. "Oh, I came here, but I cannot watch all of this, so I'm not getting the value, so I'm gonna leave." <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it might scare them. So, yeah, th- this is like very beginner friendly. I like this. Yeah, yeah. And do uh, did you check any AIs for like robotics, or do you know any anything about this? Uh, no. Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah. So, yeah, so uh, they have these like vision, mm-hmm. how do they, vision language action. No, I forgot. It's like, yeah. Called VLA, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so they have these models and they have these models that are like, I think they're very simple and easy to train and you don't need a lot of GPUs. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But I also heard like some... I have this friend, uh, he studies at um, Hong Kong University. Uh, he does mm-hmm. this PhD of robotics that you just said. Oh, and, nice. Uh, yeah. And he's like, he's always thinking like, what is the next thing in robotics? Because he's not happy with the current, even like vision language action or all of these things. <laughs> so he's reading like okay. uh, papers that that are about understanding the 3D scene, 3D space. Uh, <laughs> he found like recently three papers that are like very good, so that can help. So, but right, right, yeah. even robotics, it seems like uh, you know exactly what to do there. But uh, when you go to that research, you will see that people say that like you still have no idea what to do there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I was. I initially like tried to explore the mechanistic interpretability part. Like, there's this guy called Neil Nanda who is like famous on Twitter, like X. So yeah, I I yeah, I wanted I explored that a bit, but then I realized like I need to learn the basics like transformers and all to make sense of it. So then, yeah. Reading. And back in university, like I did not like that like. Machine learning is uh, like non-deterministic. You can't prove anything. Like it's mostly <laughs> like intuition based and like heuristic. So because of that, I I did not get any interest back then. But seeing the chat GPT application, like I think like this is the future and all. <laughs> it's worth yeah. to explore and invest in this thing. Yeah. yeah, actually, I see. Interestingly, I see way more people that are doing robotics than any other uh like oh. large language models or so uh it's it's interesting Sorry. that everybody is choosing that yeah <laughs> so how how do you figure this out like do you talk to people or do you check this on x no 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 i mean i went to uh china beijing you know and oh. and um i'm going to live there like right next to the universities i don't know if i will do phd or not there but but there people if you go there like a lot of people is like robotics no nobody's i don't uh-huh. know anybody llms <laughs> uh-huh. 
ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was also I, thinking the same, like, get into yeah. some good master's program and then, like, then do a PhD. Because yeah, but the problem... Because getting into a PhD is hard. Yeah, 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 but actually, I don't think it's too hard. Um, okay. First of all, I think the problem with master's is they still, like, tell you what to do. And you need to, like, listen to mm-hmm. them, which I don't like. <laughs> I want to research. <laughs> I want to research you optimizers. You want to be on your own. Yeah, you yeah I want to go research... I want to research optimizers. I don't want to like study some random things. I don't uh, know. <laughs> some the other else. problem is like in masters, like you have to do other course or which is not relevant yeah. to what you do. That's the thing, man. I don't like that. Yeah. I mean, th- that's the thing. Like even, even if my supervisor like allowed me to do optimizers for my thesis, mm-hmm. I still need to do other yeah. courses. And stuff. Right, right, right. That's the um, main point. And PhD is actually not that difficult, but... Uh, to get into but you need to create some kind of either so you know uh, if you know there is a researcher she's famous in large language models she's uh, her name is um, Yang Songlin uh, she invented I... like not sure. maybe okay she invented this like lin- a bunch of linear attention stuff and she oh. just finished her PhD but and she she got a job at thinking machines thinking thinking machines mm-hmm. uh and she has uh, a community on discord and they have some youtube mm-hmm. so if you just like learn robotics yourself and you mm-hmm. try to write some research papers which, papers which is actually not so it's not so difficult it's not difficult maybe in um six months to a year you can start writing research papers you oh, try nice. to yeah you you write a few you invent something it's actually not difficult at all like it's not difficult mm-hmm. you just need to like get the current models uh try mm-hmm. to do some experiments try to think maybe some mathematics you will just think about it it's actually not so difficult you just need to like uh find oh. some things out some yeah so if you if you maybe make some blog posts and mm-hmm. and youtube and possibly like a discord community you create a discord community and you get some people in and you maybe have a few papers where you discuss mm-hmm. that and i think you can get a phd uh you can get accepted to phd yeah for uh for robotics like isn't it a little bit hard to experiment without the equipment or is it purely like okay, but, simulation based uh, Mm, but find a way around it then if you don't have mm-hmm. equipment you can figure out like do you want uh, simulation do you want theory do you want maybe some other i don't know mm-hmm. got it but Wait, uh, if you are yeah sorry sorry go on yeah i mean if you are interested into this field you will find your way even if you cannot afford like ro- robot or whatever you will find a way just continue searching you'll find you'll find it out yeah just continue got it thanks yeah what did you want to say uh yeah i was about to ask like uh do you have any maths ba- math background like if you are because if you are trying to like innovate in optimize space like that is something necessary i feel um so did you learn it on your own i mean like, did you do your undergrad in mathematics or something like that no, or was no. it a generic okay it was uh, actually mechatronics mechatronics oh yes and i still have i'm still actually i didn't graduate i have like a month or two left or like a month left to graduate oh okay okay so you're studying right now yeah oh nice nice So 
it's mechatronics, it's like robotics, it's <laughs> what you say, but it's more like mechanical. Mm-hmm. And, but mm-hmm. uh, there was a math, there was math inside. And mm-hmm. for like the past few years, I'm always thinking like what I want to do. And then I figured out like it's optimizers, it's this and it's that. So mm-hmm. a lot of the math I just learned on my own from the research papers from Gemini. I just asked a question like, when I <laughs> when I see research paper saying like this matrix is sparse, I go and ask mm-hmm. Gemini what what does sparse matrix mean. <laughs> so oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, right. you just have to learn on your own. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Sure, man. I don't have anything more to ask right now. Okay. I'll okay. Keep exploring so and then, I'll post something. Yeah. Okay. Then. Uh, we're getting to the end. I want to say to everybody, uh, you can all make a post. Uh, what I can improve, what I can add. I don't want to like spam too much content. Uh, I'm trying to just figure out what everybody wants to do, wants to learn. And in these meetings, I also want to get people to either ask questions and then we can like about like if somebody wants to do PhD or somebody wants to figure out what research papers they're going to write Anybody can explain their situation. And then we're going to try to figure out to help. But at the end of the day, uh, it's just about putting like 500 hours, 1,000 hours. I think I have maybe 500 to 1,000 hours now. Um, and just and that's how you will learn math, learn what you need to do, figure out what you want to do. But we can also help a little bit. So uh, make a post. And I think we're going to end this and maybe see you next week okay okay then yeah, goodbye sure. goodbye bye thank you okay thank you for attending goodbye